welcome to another video of my project here my lamborghini twin turbo in this video i'm going to show you how i have rebuilt this car from pedal gear shift here to um, manual six speed gated transmission and i'm still uh, working with a modification here but it's almost ready and the car runs i'm going to show you the steps of this modification and the reason i did this modification there is uh, good stuff and bad stuff with both this e-gear and the manual gearbox but I will go with the manual gearbox now so the car will be a little bit more uh, reliable with this manual gearbox and I can uh, tune the car and drive the car and use the car a little bit more than um, I have done with the e-gear there so some new parts this one is a uh, used one the tower also going to replace the pedals and the part uh, on top of the gearbox don't think i'm going to replace the whole gearbox also have a manual gearbox here even though this is um, pretty much the same this one i will use i will check inside the gearbox here if it is the same or not one thing that need work here is the pedals i just started uh, removing some parts here you can see the accelerator pedal to the right and a big brake pedal in this location it will um, be both a uh, clutch and the brake pedal so this one i need to take out and the redo here it's a little bit tight to get to it but i think that's should be possible and there's no cover here at all usually on cars it's covered by a panel or something up here but not on the Gallardo. here is the shifting mechanism that i'm just removed this is the hydraulic one and this is the mechanical one so the gearbox is basically the same one but uh, the mechanism here is different this one that i'm removing is the hydraulic one it's made by magneti marelli it has the inputs here and it is the hydraulic that moves this mechanism here and there is uh, sensors in the back that can sense the position of which gear is in there and this is the manual one, manual linkages input here that uh, makes this mechanism go left and right this is actually the switch for the reverse gear so the camera goes on for the rear view and uh, the reverse light and uh, yeah, of course this one will go back and forth as well So that's a pretty easy swap there. I have, have removed this one and I also removed this one. This is the hydraulic pack with the, these expensive hoses I talked about in an earlier video. In this um, I also removed the whole hydraulic uh, kit here. It has a lot of uh, solenoids in this, this one. Pressure sensor looks like there. It has the, this is the oil reservoir, the oil tank there. The oil pump is on the back here, it's a denser pump, Magneti Marelli one. In the bottom here it has an accumulator. Uh, if this one goes bad, the pump goes on all, all the time. It, it's, it is a problem that occurs to the Gallardo sometimes. All the solenoids here, wiring harness for it there as well. And these are uh, actually pretty expensive parts because they break in these cars uh, from time to time. So I could sell them to get some money back, but I will store them in a good way. So if I get uh, old and uh, boring someday, I can rebuild this one to uh, stock uh, Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera without these uh, snails here. Here is the new cables. This one was actually pretty inexpensive to be Lamborghini parts. Fitted to the gear shifter here. It's working good. Just uh, removed the original plate there for the e-gear. So it goes in there. I'm actually waiting for a little bracket that uh, needs to be installed there. But uh, one little detail here. Here is a... Um, some wires I have um, added. When I run wires inside the car, I don't uh, use a lot of uh, protection for them, especially because these are the Tefcel wires. They're very strong ones. The original wires in this car, inside the interior, it has this fabric tape uh, kind of thing. I use bare wires and I'm using this uh, lacing yarn, lacing cord. 
and that is a thing I'm used to from airplanes. Then we use this inside of aircrafts to get the wire harnesses. It's very lightweight and they're actually using them in aerospace, in, uh, yeah, in space. I saw just a couple of days ago a picture of uh, Curiosity, the vehicle on Mars. And it has exposed wires and these kind of lacing yarns. So absolutely they use it in NASA in, yeah, in, <laughs> in vehicles a um, long way from here. So it's good stuff. It comes in different materials, nylon, fiberglass, Normex, all depending on how strong it needs to be and uh, what temperature it will see. That's how quick you do it. Right, just got some new parts, um, gasket here, this is a plate for the shifter bracket there, this is the footrest, I actually bought the incorrect one, it should be in C here, this is for e-gear, so I have to buy a new one, not that expensive even though it's a uh, Lamborghini part. Here we have some new bushings for the pedals, kits over there, some more parts for the pedals here. This is actually cool, it's a normal C-clip, but it is possible to buy it from um, Lamborghini for, I think, um, six cents. That's very cheap. The cheapest Lamborghini part I ever bought. Less than one Swedish crown for this one. And uh, yeah, the paperwork and shipping and everything to uh, sell a part for that cheap. That's, uh, yeah, a little crazy. This is for the interior, these usually break. What more? Some other parts here. For the pedals, bushings, some rubber bushings here for the, um, this uh, bracket. So it will be brand new. More bushings for this, uh, so we have a good shifter feel. Some springs. These are some bolts, they're actually for the yellow Gallardo here. More parts, yeah, small bits and pieces to make this car come together. Here's the new pedals, the clutch pedal and uh, the brake pedal. The old one is here, actually this aluminum piece here is the same for the e-gear and the manual car. But uh, I decided to replace it here, just moving over some of the parts. But I, I will keep this uh, stock one if I rebuild it back to e-gear someday, that I think I will, if I want to make it uh, stock uh, original again, or if I make it to um, something else, double clutch gearbox maybe, I will put this one back again. One thing I don't gonna make um, original is the master cylinder. The master cylinder is supposed to sit here. I don't have the original master cylinder. That one is very expensive and uh, yeah, looks a little bit special. So right now I have uh, had this one. This is like a normal uh, master cylinder. I had this one uh, laying around here in the garage. I will try with this one. I think I'm gonna change it, this to um, an AP racing one later on. But the good thing is uh, with these aftermarket pieces, there are many different sizes. I know on some cars the clutch is really hard on the Gallardos with the upgraded clutch. So I want to keep it as good as possible. So I think I'm going to play around a little bit with this one. So I'm going to build an um, adapter here so it will fit these universal ones. Also the clutch line, original ones are uh, um, hose and the piping. I'm going to change this to hose all the way. I'm also going to use, uh, this is a stock uh, piece of the Lamborghini uh, e-gear one. It's a quick disconnect and it's aluminum fitting with the machine. A really nice piece to be on an um, original car here. I just put a new fitting on here. Uh, so I will use this, the hose that is on the gearbox that has a quick disconnect fitting. That's good, then you can just remove it if you're going to remove the gearbox and uh, it will not leak anything. That do not the uh, manual Gallardo have. So a little bit mixed there. New hoster, new paddles. Let's see. I've just put um, 
the stick in here for uh, yeah some testing still missing some panels here but yeah it's working good i think back here the mechanism is here and one problem is that it's a bit dark inside there it's a i have a bracket here it's a brand new one it was also in this location i had yeah, a little bracket for um, i made for the oil filter now this bracket uh, <laughs> is um, the position is taken for um, for the shifting cables there so i will make a new one bracket for oil filter maybe move it a little bit further down so it's easier to replace the oil filter there all right now i have um, i made a bracket there just a steel one and adapter so now the wheel about the master cylinder is in place there now i will uh, fit this one into the car it's very tight in there get it in but yeah give it a try okay i'm gonna put in a new master cylinder here and this is the third one actually i'm gonna put in i don't know the size of the original one so i started with a small one so the clutch should be as light as possible but um, then I go for a bigger one but that was not enough to disengage the clutch and now I'm going for even a, a little bigger one so hopefully it will disengage the clutch and I'm using the stock eager slave cylinder there so it's very tight to get into it it's up there and it's my little special bracket there and also behind here it's two of the fittings for incoming fluid and outgoing fluid so it's uh, yeah tricky job there put in the new paddles and clutch line and I think it's almost ready to um, make a test if it's working or not this one okay now I'm gonna test drive it for the first time and um, I had some problem here is the Eager ECU sitting there and I had to do some connections there to get um, relay starter relay I guess it won't know if the it is in neutral or not so now I have a little special here um, okay I have the e-gear um, ECU just disconnected there and actually all the gear indications e-gear everything is gone from the um, display there so that's cool I was thinking maybe I have to reprogram it or something first gear in and the clutch is very smooth working very good so yeah just take it for a test drive uh, 305 R tires are perfect for this kind of weather yes um. okay bro wait bro Max. Right, a little test drive here. Uh, turbo spinning there. Yeah, fully functioning. Maybe not the best with uh, no uh, inner fenders here, but yeah, it's nice to see this beauty in the um, in the snow. I should get really some year. I should get uh, winter tires for it so I can drive it in the winter. Would be cool. All right, it was an amazing feeling actually to have been driving this car with the clutch pedal and uh, the six-speed gearbox there that uh, I could have the full control over the car. The e-gear is a pretty good one, but now with modified car and um, I could not feel really that I had control over the car always. It was not always doing exactly as I wanted with the shifts. So now I'm taking the car apart again. Just been finishing up this one, the Lamborghini. Um, it's a fully built engine in this one and it's an Hefner turbo kit in it. So now I will um, actually take the gearbox out of the car here. Uh, the six speed um, stuff you can see here because I want to check maybe I have damaged something in it when uh, it was not working as it should the e-gear system 
and um, the differential I, I will go through it i've been working a lot with the gearboxes for uh, the supra and i'm curious to see how this this one is working i've never been working with a transaxle before with this um, final drive inside the same one so i will check so everything is okay with the gearbox how the condition is if i need to replace anything in it or not because this summer i really want to drive this car so i want everything to be good in working condition so let's remove the turbos and uh, all the stuff above here okay the car is inside the garage again and i removed the gearbox here that's not uh, really for the six-speed uh, modification the re rebuild for that one and uh, the differential there i'm a little bit uh, uncertain about how condition is on that one so i will take it apart and check and um, also here you can see the manual parts for for the gearbox here here is the switch for the um, uh, reverse light uh, normally the this uh, signal comes from the e-gear ecu i think now it's here so there is no connector on my car for this one so i have to figure out how to get the reverse light working uh, i don't know if uh, the law says that in sweden here that you need to have it or not i don't think so but it could be good to have that one here we have the clutch line with a quick disconnect and here we have the throwout bearing the hydraulic one i will change this one this one is from the e-gear it was working with the clutch pedal there uh, but i will uh, replace it i have uh, one from a manual gearbox the fluid on the e-gear is different from uh, the clutch fluid uh, like a brake fluid i don't know if the seals in this one is different so i don't want it to leak further on so i will replace this one even though it's working and one thing when i pressed the clutch really fast i could feel some resistance and also when i was uh, like sidestepping the clutch it was a little bit slow up the clutch so i think there is a restriction maybe there is a restriction in this uh, quick disconnect um, fitting or if it is this uh, throughout bearing so i have to just investigate it normal driving it's all fine but if i will do a really quick shifts i think there could be a little delay on the clutch there so yeah i have to figure that out uh, so um, it will be possible to do quick shifts what else the gearbox here it's all the same as uh, eager and manual as i told you before there is still some work on the electronics here on the car i have some uh, wiring diagrams but they are not all the best the ones i have it's not so easy to find um, the correct version of this car and uh, here is a little ECU uh, I found this is for the reverse camera going here so I found the input on that one so I have to connect that one to the reverse switch there also one more thing when I had this disconnected ECU here for the e-gear I did not have any RPM gauge did not working on the dash there so I have to figure out how to do it I know another guy that have uh, this uh, made this conversion and he has this transmission control unit connected and then uh, the gauge cluster is working but then he have to reprogram the gauge cluster to a manual car so maybe i have to do that but i don't want to have parts in the car that uh, actually is not working or not doing anything really so i want to remove this one if possible i think that's all for now i'm waiting for a part for the gearbox so I can install it back again and test it a little bit more and drive the car. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more about my projects here and the progress.